I don't approve of anything that my twin flame is doing. Right? Is this this is something that like you're saying this is something that you're saying uh, all the time because your life is so squared away that you're like the authority on you know what people can and can't do like you're at the pinnacle of life so like the way you see it they're they they they're an idiot for not listening and taking life advice for you like any like anybody else in the world should be also like you the model the absolute top model of life everyone should be like standing behind you and just like mimicking how you live because frankly there is like no other way to do it you know, oh i don't i don't approve of whom they talk to i don't approve of their actions with others I don't approve of who they see. I don't approve of where they go. You just, it's so easy to put someone else's life under the microscope, right? Before that, you know, knowing what you know and on being like the absolute master of the universe, it's it's 100% within your job description to, you know, have that controlling hand on somebody else's, on somebody else's life. It's like, you know, what do you, you sit in one of those like big chairs at like a tennis match, like really high up and you're like, what are you doing? Like a pointer maybe? What are you doing? What are you doing? Wrong. Wrong, wrong. I know what's right for you. That's what you're saying. I know, I know what you should do. I know how you should live your life. You should be with me. That's what, that's exactly what you should be. I'll put a chain around your neck and then just like, you know, lead you around. Or I'll like get one of those zappers and like every every time you start to stray in a different direction, you get an you know, forty thousand volts of electric into you. Like that that'll set you straight. That'll keep you in line, that'll that'll really put you on my path, my path that I've laid out for you. Is that is that how you want to uh be with someone? You know, do you want to be with someone that is based upon love? You want you want the foundation to be based on love and then have that expand and grow from there? Or do you want the, the relationship or union to be based on control and, you know, making somebody do something, making somebody do what you want. You want to have a say on on what they do, who they hang out with, what they say, uh, the formulation of their words as they come out of their mouth. You want you want control over all of those things or do you want your perfect partner? You want your perfect partner to express themselves completely and be able to be who they are you want to be attracted to just the things that you want like they can expand beyond that you want to put a limitation on uh, how how they are attractive to you or do you want them to open your eyes and open your heart to in ways that like you never thought 
that somebody could be attractive to you. You never thought somebody could uh, love you in, in so many different ways. You know, is it is it like, is it your intention to rule the world with with some kind of iron fist, rule your relationship? You know, you have like a you're gonna fucking do what I say. You're gonna fucking do it. Or do you want like love to speak? Like, you love your twin, right? Because why, why are you, why are you like, going through this if you're saying that, like, let's just say, you, oh, I don't, I don't want them. I don't love them anymore. I'm not attracted to them because they do dumb shit. Right? Sounds controlling to me that... You, you want them to do what you want them to do. You're only, you put a condition that if they do what you want, then you'll love them. Well, that condition gets turned back on you. You know, do you want them to, you know, be entirely who they, who they are at their, in their heart, in their core, so that you can do the same, that you express yourself, uh, eat each other, expresses themselves completely and fully to one another. And that's good enough for both of you. Well maybe that that would that wouldn't attract somebody else, but somebody else isn't, you know, one of your twin flames. That's attractive to you because that is you. You know, these things are it's free. This relationship, this union is free. Let it be free. Right? You control your thoughts and your cho you control your thoughts and your choices. They control their thoughts and their choices. And together that's harmony. Together that's you both living in a union that is free. Free of judgment free of control, free love. You know, let that be. Let that be the reason to drive you forward. Let go of all the other stuff. Let go of that control. Let go of, you know, that, that hurt and that, uh, you know, all these things that are just crushing you and making you angry. Let go of all that. You know, surrender to this process. Surrender to what it is that you're being asked to do. And that's just love. Love yourself. Love your twin. That's it. Visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, check out uh, coaching services I offer um, to help bring you into union. You know, Take that next step for yourself. Commit to yourself. And uh, leave a comment down below. Check the description box uh, for all the links to uh, my website and how to get in touch with me. And I'll see you all next time.